There are four ranks in the frame environment. Owner, admins, members and anyone. The highest in rank is the owner of the frame. The owner is the one who created the frame on his or her account. This user can always change all settings of an environment and place and delete objects. The second rank is the admin. This user can do almost anything. An admin can change the settings and place and delete objects. But there are a few things that just the owner can do, like completely deleting the frame environment or receiving notification messages by email or mobile phone is only available for the owner. The third rank is member. This user has no access to the settings at all. But it can have several other rights, like placing content in the environment if the editing rights are set to members. We explain a bit more about the permissions later in this video. The fourth rank is anyone. This user can only do things in the environment if the rights are set by the owner or admin. So what are these rights or permissions? When you're in the frame that you own, click on the settings button at the right top Go to the Frames tab and select the Frame Settings. Now scroll down to the Permissions list and you might directly change the first one, Editing. When I hover over the little white icon in front of it, it opens an explanation of this option. It says here that people with editing permission can add, modify and delete assets. Standard it is set to anyone, but you do not want anyone to do this but you. So you set this to Admins for now. When you start a new environment, you are the only admin, or the owner of course. But if you want to work with co-workers in your environment, it is possible to make others admin too. So they have access to the settings. If you only want them to place objects and images, you can better make them just member. So they cannot mess the other settings. At the bottom of the permission list, you see members, admins and domains. At members and admins, you can fill in a user's email address so they will be member or admin of this environment. Of course, the email address has to be the one that they use to create their frame account. If they created the account using the Google or Microsoft login, you have to use that email address. Domains will be explained in a separate video. The interacting option is also important. Some of the objects like the streaming screen, video, audio and PDF pages can be controlled by anyone. But if you set the interaction to admins or members, only these users, like for instance a teacher, can flip pages on a PDF presentation, or share a screen on a streaming screen, or start the media. There are three settings here, admins, members or anyone. If you set viewing to admins, only you and your co-workers can enter, for instance, when you are building and don't want others to enter yet, so no one will have access only the admins. Speaking and camera can be set so only admins or members can use the microphone or webcam. Photosphere is better to be set to admins. In another video we explain about using photospheres, which are 360 photos that can be used. Calendar invites can be set so you can invite others for a meeting and put that in your calendar. It's normally set to only admins. Do know that when a permission is set to member, also admins can work with it. Admins have access to almost everything. The last thing we have to tell you about permissions is the presentation mode. This button quickly adjusts the permission to recommended levels for a presentation. So when you click on it, the permissions will change to this setting. Now only a member can interact with the content, talk with the microphone and use the webcam. Text chat still works for anyone. Well, that's all about the permissions. In another video, we explain the rest of the settings of an environment.